guys, it's Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Today I am combining a couple of different design team projects together. I'm using the new small die of the month from Spellbinders, which is the Autumn Scarecrow, along with one of my halo lights because I need to do a design team video for Pear Blossom Press. I love playing with light up cards and this is one I haven't really done much with. So we're gonna give this a shot. I have no idea if it's gonna work. I have an idea and this is what I'm going with. So I've already cut out and colored and all the things, all of the little pieces that I plan on using with my scarecrow. So isn't he just adorable? I'm gonna give him the pumpkin head. It comes with two different heads you can use. Um, but what I also needed was a circle that's about the size of my halo. So I went back into my stash to see what I had from Spellbinders and I came across the color block balloons. I'll leave a link down below for you. I'm assuming they're still available. And this large one looks like it should be just the right size. So my thought is at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and cut a hole in some black cardstock and go from there. Before I move forward though, I am gonna test and make sure that this is the right size for my, and it is. Perfect. So now I've got a little bit more assembly to do. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Now that I have determined that this is going to work, awesome. I'm going to go ahead and start deciding where I'm actually going to place everything. So what I need to do first is figure out exactly where I want my button to be. So it's going to be right above there. I'm just taking a white pencil and I'm going to put it right about there. It's where I want my button. So let's go ahead and stamp that. And of course, what happens when I think I know what I want to do? changed my mind. So I'm going to actually add a little bit more to this panel before I get started. Taking that black circle that we cut out and just putting a little bit of tape on the back. That's so I can use it as a mask. I'm going to just pop it right back in the hole there. And now I'm taking some antique linen and a blending brush and just going to add a little brightness around the outside of our circle because you guessed it, this is going to be a night side, a night scene with a moon that lights up. I also want it to be light enough so we can see some of the other things because I've also got some cute bats. So yeah, that's part of the reason for this. Okay, let's pop that little circle back out. And that looks perfect. Okay, great. Now I can heat set this and um, add our sentiment. The sentiment is going to come from the Pear Blossom Press stamp and die set. And so I'm going to use the press here, like I usually do, and stamp that in some white. So I'm using my Hero Arts Unicorn White. I'm going to gently stamp that right down. And that looks perfect. I was actually thinking it was going to blend in a little bit too much. I'm going to put a little bit more ink down again, being very careful because I don't want to smush the words. There we go. Nice white sentiment there. Okay, great. And now I can start putting everything else together. And of course, I've had a couple more ideas, adding a little bit of splatter down of just plain water. Now I'm wanting to put a little bit of white. So I'm going to use some of my Gansai Tombi Starry Colors watercolor. This is all nice and shimmery and most of it is gold, but this one is a white gold that's going to work great for that nighttime sky. And now we're going to just let that dry and come back and finish everything up. Okay, so it is all nice and dry. Love that. And this bit can be used for another card because it's got a little bit of sparkle on there. So now I need to put this in place. Okay, we know that it's going to go this way because here is our little press here that did dry back. It did dry back. 
And I want to put that about there. And press the button. Okay, so this is where it needs to go. I'm going to flip it over and just draw on here. And now I know where to where I need to adhere this down. So one thing I did want to check is to see how that would look. The light does not actually come through his eyes, so I'm thinking there's really no point in having yellow behind his eyes. So I've cut out a couple of different pieces out of the die set. This time, this is kind of interesting. This is the first time, time I've seen a die set, maybe the second, where there was a piece actually cut out to go behind the parts that are supposed to pop out. Usually, we just cut a piece out myself out of some scrap. This time, though, I've got a piece that's going to fit perfectly. So that's what this little round piece here is for. I did cut out two. I did cut one out of yellow just in case, but it turns out that I really don't need it. So I'm going to put a piece of black behind my little pumpkin's face. And that fills up all those little holes. And now I can adhere him down to his body. And now we have a cute little scarecrow to go in front of our card. Now I don't want to cover up the press here. So I'll just put that right to the side of his head. Um, don't really want to, I really, really, really want to pop him up, but I'm not going to because we've already got a lot of foam going to be happening on this card. And the press here is right beside his little head. Got a little bit of press and seal out. I'm going to pick up my pumpkins. Now that I've got them kind of arranged where I want. And I can add some glue to the back. I'm really going to be just gluing in the center because I've also got a lot of greenery, a lot of leaves and vines and such that I can adhere around and I want to be able to tuck those in. Okay, so now I can pick them up and put them back down right where I had them. And just peel back off the press and seal. And now all my pumpkins are in place. Let's add some leaves. Okay, so now we have our scarecrow. So let's add a little bit of glue to the back of him. And I cut out a few bats. Okay, so that is a fantastic little scarecrow scene. A little bit creepy for Halloween. Next step, I'm going to trim it down a little bit, and then we can adhere our light down and our little our foam tape to get everything the right dimension. Okay, I think this is just me, guys. I think that this is going to look awesome. Just the way it is, it looks great as a card. I love this little scene. May have to make more. But we're going to, of course, take it up a notch by adding that light. So let's go ahead and flip him over. Put that about where I think it's supposed to go. And then we're going to test it. And it looks like I got everything in the right spot. Fabulous. Now we can take the best, I'm sorry, the world's best foam tape from Pear Blossom Press and add that layer to the back before mounting it down. I love having foam on my cards anyway. That little extra bit there gives it a little bit more stability, I guess. But for this one, we kind of need it so that everything is level with our battery. Now, if you touch right over the top, you can see 
actually let me show you it is the same height as our battery pack so this stuff is fabulous for that the best feature though and i can't wait for the new stuff to come out um i absolutely love the fact that this stuff is repositionable now i'm doing something a little bit different here i also want to make sure that this doesn't go all the way down so i'm actually putting a little bit underneath my mechanism just a little bit i don't think you really need much i am going to put a little bit more across the center here so that we don't have any saggy middles but here's the thing if you put your tape down oh that one is too long let's push it down well it's like okay i discovered it's too long i'm going to go ahead and peel it back up it is repositionable for 30 minutes and does not ruin your cardstock. I absolutely love that feature. I'm going to just double check, make sure everything still looks good. Yep, I think I should probably block a little bit more on the sides. So it doesn't, I really want it to be just behind that moon, right? And just like your regular foam tape, you can cut this vertically to be able to do those slivers like what I'm going to do here. Let's see how that looks. That blocks it a little bit better. Fabulous. I'll do another one on this side. And just double check. That looks good. Okay, great. So it looks like we've got basically everything we need. We just need to take the foam tape off. I mean, the release paper off of the foam tape and then put that onto our card. Here's another thing that's great about the foam tape. Okay, I love the foam tape. I love the lights. I absolutely love the Pear Blossom lights, but the foam is a game changer and I can't wait for it to be in different thicknesses and different widths so that I can use it for all of my crafting because that is my plan. Amanda has not asked me to do that, but that is my plan because it's fabulous. This stuff comes off super easy. If you've watched me on other videos, you know that my nails are super thin, so I have to add things to them to make them you know, not break constantly, which means that my nails are thicker now than what I, than actually what you need. But I can't get under the foam with the release paper a lot of times and I have to use my pokey tool for that. This is one where it is so easy to remove. I can even do it with my big old nails. It is super, super easy to remove. Okay, I'm gonna tack that down on those pieces of foam and i think i'm also going to add a little bit of double-sided tape to this side too for when it's being held down to the card itself that way we don't have to worry about this piece trying to bend it all and this part is probably not necessary but I don't, like I said, I don't work with the lights that much and I am just a little bit, a little bit OCD, not diagnosis, a self-diagnosis, but I know I want everything to be as perfect as I can get it. Okay, it's time to put the final pits, bits together. Fabulous. Want to make sure that the top of the cart is at the top of my panel and about an eighth of an inch away from the edge and there we go so our our card is finished let me turn off the lights there we go we have the moon glowing behind our little scarecrow so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you're inspired to get out your halo lights and make a couple of cards you guys have a wonderful day and I will catch you in the next video. Bye, guys.